Amazon just came out with the beta version of their Timu competitor haul. This is actually exclusively on the Amazon app on your phone and can't be accessed on the desktop at this time. So we're going to be walking through and seeing exactly what this looks like, how it feels, what it actually looks like and seems like from a seller bus, a customer perspective. And I might buy a thing or two, who knows? So let's take a look at this here. So we'll click on this for haul. This will open up and show us exactly the entire interface. You can see that it's its own interface as it its own home here that we can click on takes us right back to home. Uh, we can click on the categories as well. The crazy low uh, me and open up all of my stuff and we can exit out of this to get back to normal Amazon. So it's a little interesting how it works here. So let's dig into this a little bit more. So if we look at haul again, we can see some different categories, which is kind of interesting. They essentially have a bunch of stuff for women. They have stuff for men. Uh, it seems like mostly clothing, home, that makes sense. Uh, electronics, so they have phone cases there. Not sure why they have accessories there. That's kind of interesting. They have kitchen, home improvement, beauty, and sports. Okay, so essentially everything you would typically see on a website like Timu, and I mean, a lot of the categories are on Amazon as well, but it seems like they are a little bit limited compared to what you would typically find on Amazon. Uh, one thing I will first just say is this reminds me a lot of Timu. You can tell just the comparison here of everything that they have, but you know, I am in the market, I suppose, for uh, some different accessories. I could use a phone case on my phone. So let's check out some phone cases here, see what they have. So it looks, yeah, so already something that is very interesting to me is that all of these main images from Amazon's normal perspective completely break their terms of service for main image. So you can see here we have, you know, not white backgrounds. Uh, you know, we have people holding the phone. Uh, again, people holding the phone. It, this has a person in it, actually. So that's kind of interesting. None of these are part of Amazon's normal term service. So I'm guessing that's pretty going to be a common theme where these items don't really have to meet those standards from an image perspective that sellers on the normal platform do. So uh, you know, that's kind of interesting, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I mean, realistically we got, you know, magnetic phone case here. <laughs> okay. So this is already a very different experience from Amazon. Uh, you would never see this picture, uh, as the first picture on any carousel on the normal Amazon platform. That's super, super interesting. Uh, a lot of these, yeah, it's also extremely Photoshopped. Uh, none of these are at all. Uh, the actual product, uh, we can click on it. This looks fairly similar to Amazon. Okay, uh, we have black, we have blue, which doesn't, oh, I guess it kind of shows blue. Uh, we have green uh, and we have red. Okay, so, well, I have, you know, kind of a bluish green here, so I think I'll just stick with black. Uh, let's see what the product details look like. 15-day uh, refund, so a little bit different ships by Amazon. So all of these are Amazon shipped. That's kind of interesting. Uh, sold by Mouse M. Cone. Okay. Uh, delivery November 22nd. I'm recording this on the 13th. So we are looking at a minimum of a nine day delivery, but a maximum of a 13 day delivery. Interesting. 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 Okay. So let's uh, add this to our cart. Think we'll love this under $5 new in they say new in as if everything isn't already currently new. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not really feeling any of this. So let's go back. Let's go to our home. Let's see what they have on the home here. So up at the top, I instantly see uh, a lot of this, again, seems like, you know, tiny treats, weird things, uh, unbelievable, fine, crazy low prices. You know, we're seeing a lot of low prices still, you know, 550, 299, 299, uh, 299, 299. Yeah, a lot of this is very, very cheap. Let's keep in the under five dollars let's check see what they have here um yeah halloween decorations uh you know belt yeah this is all of this again first glance breaks amazon terms of service so this is kind of interesting to see that they would be doing it in this capacity i didn't expect this when they first came out i thought i would still have to at least follow amazon terms of service but um you know some of the things that are kind of interesting i'm I'm almost wondering if I were to search, uh, you know, let's just say 
uh, weight loss. Let's see if they will actually also be dinging things for, uh, I guess doesn't seem like anything here. Uh, maybe weight trainer, what does this say? Weight loss. So right there in the title here, we actually have weight loss, which is a restricted keyword on Amazon's platform that will get you taken down uh, near immediately. So that's kind of interesting to see that for even restricted keywords, they're just saying, hey, doesn't matter. Uh, so it seems like a lot of these are going to be going fully against the typical Amazon being a little bit cleaner, having a little bit harder terms of service model overall. But yeah, I mean, it, this is kind of interesting to see here. Let's uh, let's see if I can get some free shipping. I'll just add a few extra things in here. Um, you know, I don't know, some zip ties. Let's just add that in. Uh, we'll add that to our cart. Cool. Get some zip ties. Uh, oh, I, I do have uh, I do have an Apple Watch. Let's see if this is compatible. Probably isn't. Uh, let's do the microfiber. OK, so let's, you know, 10 pack is 499. OK, I'll add that to my cart. Uh, what else do we have here? Some oil sprayer for cooking spray. Sure. Why not? Uh, one thing I am noticing here as I'm going through the app itself on the haul side is a bit laggy. Uh, compared to the normal Amazon app. Um, not sure what's really going on there, but it is something I'm noticing right off the bat. Kind of interesting to see this. Um, overall, so I need like one more thing so I can actually get our free shipping. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just do, you know what? Christmas is around the corner. Uh, why not? We'll add this here. Let's add to cart. And we have our free shipping. So I'm not, oh, cart down in the bottom right. OK, uh, yeah, so proceed. Check out. This looks very normal for Amazon. Everything's having these little bubbles here for the selling fast. Only 17 left selling fast bestseller. That's kind of interesting to me uh, that essentially they have that in there as well. So let's uh, let's see here. We'll uh, we'll place our order here. Um, yeah, I, this is super interesting to me, uh, the way that they're doing this and the way that essentially breaking Amazon terms of service. So. Yeah, there we go. Order place. So it, there's no real issue with the actual app itself. It was a little buggy, but the real thing that's interesting here again is that all of these can just break Amazon terms service. We can see it's a very different experience. It feels very much like Timu app where everything is just kind of there. It's all very photoshopped, all very fake. But yeah, I'm very interested to see where this will go, how this will do. Again, it's beta. It's mobile only. So that's another aspect of it. That probably has to play off of how many mobile users there are. But yeah, it, this is super, super interesting. See, I don't know right now, really, if this is actually going to have much of an impact on regular sellers now that I'm actually seeing it firsthand. I thought this was going to be uh, a little bit more geared towards uh, trying to be a competitor, right? Whereas it seems like this could just be its own standalone app. I wouldn't be surprised if they do launch a standalone service called Hall at some point in time. But yeah, so far, very interesting to see this. Exciting to see that it's finally out much sooner than everyone anticipated. And uh, I guess we'll see where it goes from here.